This has been the first step by the stainless steel sector. We have set up a green hydrogen plant with Hygenco. So this year we will be going to generate green hydrogen. By setting up this plant, जो भी हम hydrogen और ammonia consume कर रहे थे, will now be replaced by green green hydrogen now. So that will have total impact on the quality of stainless steel. The government is investing in the right sectors like infrastructure, railway, defence, where stainless steel and steel is consumed. So this has been the first step by the stainless steel sector. We have set up a green hydrogen plant with Hygenco, and we have using this by putting up solar panels on our rooftops and on our water reservoir also. So this year we are going to generate green hydrogen. Stainless steel production may already we consume hydrogen and ammonia. But this is through conventional methods. By setting up this plant, जो भी हम hydrogen और ammonia consume कर रहे थे, will now be replaced by green green hydrogen now. So that will have total impact on the quality of stainless steel, and uh, it's going to be a greener material. And so, uh, uh, what's your uh, upcoming plan after this? Can we uh, see that your projections and expansions will be in the uh, country as well as the overseas? Our focus is always India, and we are going to further expand and only grow in India. That has always been our focus. We see good demand, domestic demand. Uh, government is investing in the right sectors like infrastructure, railway, defence, where stainless steel and steel is consumed. So we're very bullish on the domestic demand. Uh, if a little protection from the government is always welcome because dumping is happening from Chinese material severely in the country. So if little protection we get from that, then even more confidence it gives domestic players to expand to grow faster. And how will benefit it in uh, stainless uh, sectors as well as the in uh, your future plan for the other sectors also? So no, it will definitely. We will go along with the government because if India is growing at eight, eight and a half percent, stainless steel will grow at ten, ten and a half percent. So with the growth coming in country, we will also grow along with it. So we have just expanded into one million ton last year, uh, and that is sufficient for the next two three years. After that, again, we will look for further expansion in stainless steel in India.